In this video, I'll be showing you how to set up your Teams and shared folders in the TextPlace organization dashboard. When setting up your organization, the first thing you want to do is add your team members. To do this, click on the name of your organization and choose the Members tab. Here, you can add your members using their email addresses, separating each one with a comma. Before clicking Add Members, you can choose what kind of permissions this group of users will have. At this stage, it's best to give everyone member access. Later on, I'll show you how to tweak access rights for individual members and folders. Now that you've added your team members, you can assign them to teams. Click on the Teams tab and Create New Team. Let's call this one Tech Support. The description is optional, so we'll leave it blank. Now, let's add some members to this team. The default folders menu allows you to set which folders your team members will have access to by default. Since this is a tech support team, I want to give them access to the tech support folder by default. From now on, any person I add to the tech support team automatically gets access to that snippet folder. Notice how, since I added myself to the team, it now shows up in my sidebar together with its default folder. Now let's make a marketing team and assign them a default folder with marketing snippets. This method of sharing folders is practical because you can set up each team to only see the folders they need, keeping everyone's dashboard neat and organized. Now, let's say I have a folder with email templates, which I know everyone in the organization will need. At the very bottom of the Teams tab, there's a section for organization-wide default folders, and it works just like the default team folders. Let's add the email folder to our organization. As with the Teams, it shows up in the sidebar. Now, let's say one of your team members has taken the initiative and created a cool collection of snippets that could be useful to the rest of the team. By clicking on the folder name and going to the Sharing tab, they can choose to share this folder with individual members, with any of the teams they're in, or even with the whole organization. I'm going to share this folder with one of my teams and give them viewer rights. And then I can give this user editing rights so they can help me improve my snippets by collaborating on them. Remember, business and enterprise plans have a snippet content history feature which allows you to track and reverse changes made to snippets.